Well, here we go. I'm gonna let it warm up. I mean, cool off, not warm up. But fuck. <laughs> Shit. No, I'm hunting a leak. I got a leak somewhere. I don't know exactly where. But I'll find it. I think. Really and truly, I think it's off the back of this valve cover gasket. What? A low battery. Low battery in my ass. But I got a leak, and I think it's off the back of this damn uh, valve cover gasket. That. And I am changing. Oh. My uh, park drive and reverse switch bullshit yeah I'm changing that shit but I'm hunting a leak I got one and by god everything was covered up in oil right here so I went and washed it off and tried to find it son of a bitch uh, it was all up my filter and over the uh, well what that is is <laughs> that's the pump. There you go. It ain't the pump. It's just the way it's all designed to work. Right over there. Down to there. That big block going to that damn thing right there. There's no cooler, really, on this truck right here. Showed it up in there, but there's no cooler. A little transmission. But... That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna change this right here. I got to. And by God, you can buy this part and uh, you can spend a couple hundred dollars on it, so bitch. At AutoZone and Advance, but you better look for it on the internet because uh, 45, 50 bucks, that's the big difference. And these little bad boys are glued. They're glued into this. It's silicone is what it is. It's original equipment is silicone. Now, how to get them out without just fucking them up to the point of no return is the question. Oh, God, there's a question. Mm. I'm tired of not being able to crank. I'm pretty sure that that's where my issue is. It doesn't want to crank. It'll crank up run and then it won't crank afterwards and my oil leak well i'll figure that shit out because i ain't having that and if it's got a cooler i'm totally fucking amazed because i don't remember it's been a while i had it apart a very long time ago and i don't fucking remember everything thank god i got videos though and it's going backwards to find that shit over there on that side, I'm slinging grease on that side. And I gotta find the grease. Either that or I ran over a big fucking thing of grease. I don't think I did that. Shit. Ah, hold on. My wheel wall covered up. I mean, well, you can see it right here. Down there, but the same in the front, and then it's all down the side of my truck. What the fuck is that shit? Uh oh, what's that? <laughs> this water, I hope. Better be anyway. Oh yeah, it's off the air conditioner, and she's working just fine. Everything I did when I was in Florida. It's fine. I've looked at the front end. I've looked at the seals and everything. It's all fine. And my leak has got to be coming off that goddamn got valve cover over there on that side. I'll deal with that. That's on a court every three weeks, month. But this little bad boy right here, not that, this has to be installed and the fucking plug-ins are glued inside there he says that you're going to destroy the old one 
you know, so better have one with you when you do it. Well, what about them plug-ins? What are we going to do there? Fuck up that. Uh, and all through all this, and online, you don't find that shit until later. You actually start looking at it, and after you get the part, but it tells you they are glued in. I ain't going to look for it. Look the damn thing up yourself. There you go.